Oh, this is really cool looking. I like this visual. This is nice. This looks like the place, but I don't see a castle anywhere. Neither do I. But based on that story Lundgrim told, we shouldn't be too surprised. Is it like a flying castle? Does he have a flying one? He must be hiding his castle within a temporal rift to keep outsiders from seeing it. Probably only reveals itself when the monsters he controls need to come and go. Would the Blade of Time be of some help? Oh, indeed. Since it controls time itself, it should be able to stabilize the rift, making Deus' castle visible. Okay, here goes. Let's do it. Blade of Time! Pull Deus' castle out from the temporal rift. I got you, bro. Yep, yep, sure enough, there it is. And it does appear to be floating. This gives me major Explorers of Sky temporal tower vibes. Haha, -ha, well, how about that? I was right. Not bad for a mere guess, eh? So, how do you suppose we reach the castle from here? Uh, the Riards? Hello? Riards. Good question. Stormforce winds like these will just blow the Riards away. Oh, well, never mind. Which means... Hey! The Blade of Time is glowing. Is it gonna, can it also make bridges? What can't the Blade of Time do? Oh my goodness! Goodbye. Yo, what can't the Blade of Time do? This feels so incredibly in-game. Am I really not at the end of the game right now? Whoa, what happened? One possibility is that we were called here by the resonation of Deus' power of time manipulation and the Sword of Time. Sure, dude. All right, well, thank goodness there is a save point here. So, I mean, we can go into the dun- I got 20 minutes! I don't think I'm gonna get through all of Deus' summer home castle in 20 minutes. But uh, I actually have a little less than 20 minutes. But, I mean, we, we can try. Dude, if this isn't the end of the game, I, I guess the, the the most likely thing, I guess, is, like, they had Arch and Origin talk about, like, oh, you don't even know why Deus is trying to murder everyone. Maybe he's got a good reason behind it. So maybe there's, like, some other enemy after Deus that, we had, that, like, has a third act to the game of some kind, maybe? Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to click that again. I, I don't know. There's really only one way to find out. I don't think we're going to get to find out today, but we can make some progress. Dark eye question mark. Gee hee 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 hee. Let's brainwash all of you too. Then you will serve our Lord Deos. Which means more glory for me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna kill you? What is with the question mark? Oh my goodness, look at that damage. Behold, Chaos Blade! Yo, where's Origin, dude? Hit me with the Origin before stream ends. I wanna see what Origin does. I guess I could tell him to summon Origin. In fact, I think I will. Assuming this thing doesn't die. Oh, it didn't take damage from that. Okay. Yo, Karth, use the origin. There, dude, it looks like Celsius and Shadow are supposed to be right here. I wonder if Celsius and Shadow were like optional dungeons somewhere that I missed. Only 24 MP to summon origin, huh? Yo, Mint, I need some heals. Origin use Kagebunshin no Jutsu? Yeah, it's pretty sick. I like it. What? Teleports behind you? Nothing personnel, kid? What was that? Dude, this thing is bulky. I hate this positioning. Yo, Chaos Blade putting in the work. How much HP you got, brother? Oh, I forgot to stock up on items. I need to try and leave here if we can. Oh my word, this thing is so bulky. 56,000. This is a full-on mini-boss. Good opportunity to get some mastery on Chaos Blade. I didn't even look at all those arts I got from uh, getting the Time Sword. Yeah, Chaos Blade is actually really good. Burn him up! Now I'm in the middle of swinging my sword, Arch! Come on, dude. You gotta be close. Gotta be getting close. I used so much TP in that fight. That thing had a lot of HP, though. Yo, big money and experience gains. Let's go. Oh, no, wait, no. The amount of experience I have was not how much until level up because I definitely needed more than 5,000. It said like 20K or something. 
But yeah, now it says next. Earlier it didn't say next, it like just showed experience. I wonder why. Weird, I guess it doesn't really matter. Chester, still useless. Arts. Void shift, teleport to an enemy and deliver a combo attack. No, dude, literally nothing personnel kid. That's so cool, I love it. So what are all, Chaos Distortion Blade? Combination of Distortion Blade and Chaos Blade, 50 TP, oh my goodness. A combination of Void Shift and Chaos Blade, that sounds so cool. It's gonna take so long. Well, I'm already at 31% on Distortion Blade, that's not bad, it's just so expensive TP-wise. You know what, Beast, it was fun using you while I had you, but I'm gonna take Void Shift because it sounds cool. My goodness, I'm going to eat through all of my TP. It'll be fun. Uh, okay. Can I, like, leave to go buy stuff and come back? Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm, like, I'm low on stuff. Arch versus Magalu? I dislike Arch more than I dislike Magalu. Magalu, from what I remember of Magalu. It's been a minute since I played Berseria. I do remember Magalu being my least favorite character in Berseria, though. I think Mogilu was, like, the only character in Berseria, or at least of the main cast, that I, like, didn't like. I remember Lafacet was, like, meh. I didn't, like, I didn't really like Lafacet, but I didn't hate him either. But, like, Eleanor was really cool, and then Rokuro, Velvet, and Aizen are all, like, top-tier characters. Eleanor is good, but, like, the other three are, like, ooh, baby. High quality. Hi, give me my TP back real quick, please. Why does this inn specifically tell me when my checkout time is? None of the other inns do that. <laughs> Whoop. All right. Nah, not armor and stuff. I don't really care about that right now. I need, uh... Is this where items are? With the coffee? Tea House Noonwalker. No, I need like. Oh, you give me a dish. Yeah. Hashed rice. Probably one of the things I ignored the most in this game was dishes. Probably should have tried to use dishes more. Where the like that little bottle symbol looks like the the item store. Where is it? How do I get to it? This like takes me out of town, doesn't it? Yeah. Where is the item store? Oh, there it is. The positioning of the markers was a little misleading there. Hello. I guess that, I guess lemon gels and pineapple gels did not exist in the first Tales of game, which is uh, very interesting. I guess it just wasn't a thing. Yeah, I should probably get some flare bottles and use that like if we fight Deos again, because Deos sucks. May as well max these out, even though we don't use them a lot. Honestly, just like, I got the money. Just max everything. I guess pineapple gels are just not a thing until the later games, which is... interesting. Just went out the 3DS eShop is shutting down? Yeah, so is the Wii U one. Probably, I think I need to... Uh, I bought the Persona Q games because of it, because they're probably going to end up going up in price. I think I need to buy the... Uh, probably need to buy the Metroid Prime games soon. Can't really think of any other, like, games that you would get on the... I mean, Metroid Prime is Wii, not Wii U. But, like, I'm pretty sure it's on the Wii U's virtual console, so... Once it's off of there, it's probably going to... The physical copies are going to go up in price. And Nintendo still doesn't seem like they're going to be releasing a, uh, a Switch port anytime soon. Do they limit you on number of gels of each type? Every item in this game is limited to 15 max. Maybe not every item, but the majority of items. Definitely, like, all of the healing items. You can only have 15 life bottles, 15 apple gels. That's a staple of Tales of. They've done that in most Tales of games. Maybe all Tales of games? I can't remember if they still had that rule in Tales of Arise. Because they did TP differently in Tales of Arise. I don't remember if they still had the 15 item only rule, to be completely honest with you. Alright. 
Right, we only got like 10 minutes left. Let's just get through as much of this dungeon as we can. I have to go through this animation every time, really? Okay. Tales of Rise does have the 15 item limit? Okay, I couldn't remember off the top of my head. It's hard to remember exactly how the item limit works in every game when I've played so many of them. Bum, 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 bum. Plus, I haven't played Tales of Rise since I beat it on the channel, so. It's very dark in here. Force the door open with the Eternal Sword. Yep, Eternal Sword, using it to pick locks. If it works, it works. Profits? I'll profit you. No, my void shift! What the heck is happening? I wanted to see what void shift did. Yo, that's pretty cool. But it looks like it's really easy for them to knock me out of it. But it's an awesome animation. We're gonna end up using so much dang TP in this. You know what? I actually, like, what, what items does Cress have on? Yo, maybe I can go without the Sorcerer's Ring right now. I kind of want to give... We're probably going to run into something. I, yeah, I have another Spirit Ring, actually. I kind of want to give the Spirit Ring. I'm going to try and do that. So, like, we can't use the ring now to, like, shoot the fireball. Hopefully, we don't need it in this dungeon. If we do, I'll put it back on. But, like, I feel like I need more TP for, uh... For Cress. Actually, wait, do I have another one of the, like, increased TP by 30%? Because then I'd also recover more... Get out of here, Witch Doctor. But uh, then I'd have more... Oh, it's really cool, like, the tattoos on them light up. Because if I had 30% more TP, then I'd get more TP at the end of fights. Like, instead of, like, 17, I'd get, like, maybe 20. That's almost an entire art. My arts cost, like, 25 to 30. Let me actually see about that. Because I think I had another one of those, and I was going to put it on, uh, on what's-her-name. On Mint. I couldn't think of her name for the life of me. But then I decided not to. Yeah, Moon Crystal. I'm going to go with that. So, 460 now, so I should be recovering, like, 20? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. 5% of 460. I don't want to do the math. 10% would be 46. So 5% should be 23? Should be getting 23 TP at the end of every fight? That's a lot. That's almost an entire art. For how expensive my arts are. Come here, losers. Gonna beat you up. Yeah, get him, a freak. Get him. The Eternal Sword is a Keyblade? If the shoe fits... <laughs> Easy. All right, how much TP do I get back at the end of a fight now? 24. Nice. I think I said 23. Yeah, I was slightly off. All right, yeah, I think that's the right call then. Until we end up needing to use the Sorcerer's Ring for a dungeon. For a dungeon puzzle, I mean. Oh my goodness, more profits. You know what? To start the fight, I should use my uh, teleporting move. Just immediately nothing personnel kit him. Seems a little overkill, but go ahead. Go off. Kagibunshin no jutsu. Oh my word, calm down. A waste of time indeed, my friend. Man, I hope I, like, I hope this dungeon puzzle is, like, straightforward. If I, like, run into anything complicated that I have to remember for next stream, I'm not going to stream this game again for at least a week, maybe a week and a half. Probably actually a week and a half, actually. I don't think I'll play this game again until, like, not this coming Sunday, but, like, the following one. Hey, don't knock me out of my Chaos Blade. Did that not do any damage? Hi. All right, these witches are weird. Just kill them. Just kill them dead. Get out of my sight. Whoa! 
Getting like a thousand experience per fight with only two enemies. That's pretty good. That was a really easy fight to get a thousand experience out of it. Hopefully we get some levels out of this uh, dungeon before we end up... I assume we're going to fight Deus at the end of it. We've already fought Deus twice. Why not a third time, right? This should be a lot of experience. Hey, stop knocking me out of my arts. There we go. Good hit, good hit. You're dead. Let me kill you. Die. Boop. Wow, you're still alive. What the heck? These guys are bulky. Oh my word. Oh, sharpness. Thank you, thank you. You gotta die at some point, dude. Or maybe you don't. Never mind. What do I know? Maybe you're immortal. There we go. Which one is my... Which one is my teleport move? Which one of my arts is my teleport move? Down. Oh, I pressed circle instead of X because I'm a fool. I was like, why are you not doing the teleport move? No, I just wanted to use my teleport move. I love that I still teleport anyway. Uh, that is a really cool move. New spell on Mint? What spell could Mint possibly have at this point of the game that I'd be like, yeah, that's what I want? Maybe something offensive, finally? Increases one ally's defense. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really think I want you using TP on that. I feel like you'll use it every fight when it's unne unnecessary. Might be good to, like, force her to cast it, like, in a fight with Deos or something. Or some other boss. All right, I'm not gonna use an art here. I'm just gonna try and get some TP back. Volto. Also, by the way, I have no idea what we're doing in this room. I have literally no clue. Like, I've been going around opening all these cells, but there's like nothing going on. I wonder if this is just the wrong way. Because I think there was a way to go to the right, if I remember correctly. There was that spot with the statues, like, right here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. Maybe I have to hit them with the stupid sorcerer's ring or whatever it's called. But we're almost out of time, so I think I'm just going to go back to the save point and wrap up. And then when we come back next time, it'll just be, you know, we'll start fresh. I'm focusing mostly on Chaos Blade, by the way, instead of either of the other two moves, because we have to, uh, the two fusion moves we have are both, they both use Chaos Blade. So, may as well get to work on Chaos Blade and getting it done. Indignation! Can't touch this. Get him, Arch. Get him out of there while I kill this golden one with a bajillion HP. This dude never dies. Maxwell! What an absolutely awful time to try and use Maxwell's stupid, like, ping pong attack. It's like a window screensaver, and you know how often those don't hit the corners? There we go. Right, you're probably almost dead, so I'm not gonna... Yeah, I was about to say, not worth trying to use an art. Oh, Damascus Sword, how nice. You yeah, that's over 3,000 experience, dang. If we do, like, get to Deos and he's too strong to beat... Level grinding wouldn't be too hard here. Okay, let me see what's to the right really quickly. It's shut tight. Okay, so there must be something to the left. Oh, there's also a door up here. Unless there's a way to go up right here, there must be something in that dungeon area that can open that door. Oh, Origin is a good one here. Absolutely decimate. Nice, nice. Fire! Nice. We did it! Hooray! Not bad. There's a way to... Can you go up on the right right there? You might be able to. Oh, some chests. Oh, I'm full on holy bottles. Nice. 
Oh, Sage. I should probably use those next stream if I remember. I say that like every stream, but whatever. I think we're just gonna wrap up here for today, chat. Yeah, we're we're at uh, we're about ten minutes over three hours. So we're gonna wrap up here. It's gonna be a little while before the next Tales of stream, the next Tales of Fantasia stream specifically, but I, obviously Tales of in general falls under that. But uh, we're at Deus's castle again. Feels very end of the gamey, but Tales of likes to pull the rug out from under you, so who knows? Maybe there's still more. I. I mean, I feel like there's got to be more, because we still don't even have that last team member. Maybe she's not a team member, but I I don't understand why she's in that character art I found when I made my thumbnail then. That's so weird. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll just see what happens next stream. We'll just see what goes down. But uh, it'll probably be a while before the next one. But for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to try and catch these live, because Forbidden West is coming out, it's going to be a while before the next Fantasia stream. This might actually make it to YouTube before the next stream. Maybe. But, uh, who knows? I feel like we're one, maybe two streams away from being done with the game? Or maybe three, depending? You never know. You never know with JRPGs, even older ones. But, uh, if you want to catch this or anything else, I stream on the Twitch channel live. Link to my Twitch channel description. I'd love to see you there. Do plenty of tales of other JRPGs, etc., etc. Or keep watching on YouTube, and I appreciate your support either way. I hope you've been enjoying the series. Until next time, farewell. <laughs>